go live. And yep. here we go, yep. Make sure it's not Is a this pause. pause. No, 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 no. Uh. <laughs> See how through to an LCB for the uh, easy after all season 15 um, Premiership game. Week 1 between Vinland, who are in red, and uh, Skidmark Central, who are in blue. CP Kelly watched the second map here. Uh, your cast for this evening are Hayden and Byton. Streamer is Ari. Take us away here. I do see Kedis, you know, I've been watching Kedis on these mid rollouts. He is just spamming those stickies trying to deal as much damage. We did see the demo man for Vinland actually go down pretty quickly. We did see the soldier, Flisco, getting behind Vinland and trying to do as much damage as much as he can to the red medic. And he did get very weak, but it just wasn't enough. Central losing a lot of players there as well. That isn't very good for them. Even though they do keep their medic alive and are going to be able to contest this second point, they were very weak and they did lose a lot of players. Look at this by the scouts, just raging so hard. I mean, they're just <laughs> pushing so hard. Look at it, they just completely dominated this area and said, you know what, this is our point too. You might want to drop back to last. And now Kade is trying to get a pick here, maybe a free pick at the start. He may actually get one, depends. Whoever opens this door in lobby and lower. They're all going up top and that scout can't Boston bash her up. Oh, he's going to die! No, he's not, he's fine. <laughs> Ray goes down. going down and we are going to see uh, Vinland somewhat pushing through Riverside a bit, trying to uh, spam a bit down at this point, but they are going to be holding in this uh, little upper room area, a bit above lobby, uh, just next to Riverside. I mean, just um, they have the Uber, so I presume they are just going to be waiting sniper. for Rake to respawn. Yeah, no, I thought Rake would go Sniper, but he's actually oh, gone Rake Pyro. Pyro. Very... Oh, no, he's gone Scout now. He's gone Scout. That was yeah. very interesting. <laughs> but they but they do have a Sniper here uh, It's Good Mark Central. Um, just trying to see where he's sniping. Oh, there he is. He's watching... He was watching Riverside. Greg, that yeah, is... Yeah, we are going to hopefully see something from Greg, you know, if he can be on top of his game and just be able to get some of those heads uh, clicking. You know, well, clicking on the heads, we should be able to see something from him. But it does seem like the Uber is coming in from Jossie and from Vinland right here. We do see a lot of spam coming in from both teams. We actually do see the Uber from Central as well. We do see somebody trying to get onto the point right there, break, but it just wasn't enough. Kid is really being able to spam out the, the, the stickies right now and just uh, being able to defend any way the Vinland would use to push. Yeah, now he's just sticking it up now. They just checked Riverside as well. Sorry, uh, water underneath the point. Uh, Greg checking underneath and Kade's point. Sticky's on the point, so nothing sneaks in. And it's just uh, Ubers, even Stevens. And he tries to go for Skeet and Salmon takes down Skeet as well. Darn goes down, but Dolza goes down as well. Kyla for fun goes down. Look at this, it's four. Oh, it's two versus three. Oh, what an arrow! What an arrow! <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. It's Rake versus Kadis, who's weak. And Fisco. So they're just yeah. busy building. You know, did see Josie uh, actually managed to fall back to his scout though. I mean, it seemed likely that Flisco was just going to chase him down, but it just wasn't worth going all of that way for it. But it does seem like they're going to be able to get the respawns. It should seem like um, Central would want to try push out on this. I mean, they wouldn't really want to be holding too much on last, uh, but I don't think they're really feeling confident. Uh, Josie actually did stay alive, so they do have the Uber. I think they know they have that advantage, so they should really be pushing Two in scouts right left. Two scouts left. Yeah, they're going to do this quick and hard. There are stickies around that corner. They need to be careful. Now the Ubers come in. The Pyro is on the right-hand side. What can they do against the Pyro? The Pyro is in the wrong place, two scouts on the point, that's going to be too quick for them to stop, is it? They take down Kyla for fun and Kadis, Greg goes down as well, this is going to be for sure Vinland, that, yeah. was, that, was, that was solid, that was very, very solid. Yeah, Vinland just working as a team, coordinating those pushes and just being able to come out on top is uh, definitely what put them uh, in the lead on that round, really. Uh, yeah, no, that was beautiful, I've got to say. Um, they saw the fact that they were completely far away from the point and they took it, just took it very quickly. Um, Dodd on the point already, very, very early. <laughs> we just see Rick just trying to chip off a bit of damage to Kid, is trying to make him fall back a bit, having to grab that health before he can really do anything. We see Flisco going down as well as Samazon. Nice soldier trade right there. Uh, but we do see a lot of damage going on to Rake as well. He's having to fall through Big Door. And it doesn't seem like Central are feeling confident. Nice kills coming in from Vinland right there. Just the medic and the scout of life essential. And it doesn't oh, seem Kyle like anything. Medic. Can he do it? Is it a, oh, oh, he's, oh, no, he's not going to be able to get this. Just 27 health. It does seem like he would want to be falling out. There's still no team really being confident on grabbing this point. Even though uh, Vinland do have the Uber, they don't really want to be using this on the midpoint. Uh, so we are going to see an Uber sound there. Uh, but we do see the, oh, the force from the soldier right there. Uh, so it does seem like Central are just going to be kind of sitting out of this. They will be able to get the Uber pretty soon, though. Uh, so we should maybe see an Uber coming in from them. Yeah, no, they lost two players, though. Neither team have actually capped middle, so there's no nice spawn for either team, but they do lose two players here. Uh, it's four versus four at the moment, and whoever goes down next will win this point, I feel. Rake is weak. This is going to be interesting. Ah, oh, okay, this takes down Belzig. Uh, there we go, yep. Yeah. Uh, it's always the rule. It's always the rule. There you go. <laughs> nice rocket. 
right there under Dan, uh, just as he tries bombing, and still not him having that mid, but it does seem like Central will be able to grab this and uh, really securely hold this. We do see just the medic and the soldier alive for Vinlander, so Central will be able to push into a second already. Yeah, no, I think they'll be content in just giving second up because they have a clear Ruby charge advantage of 30% there. If they build very, very quickly, they may have this in time. Depends. They may need to run a pyro. It looks like Eldrick is switching to sniper. So no pyro, interesting, but they, they do already have the Uber. Depends how quick Skeej and Co push here. They are... Are they going to push two scouts? Main? No, they're, they're very, very slow. Oh, it's close. Yeah, they're pushing lower, and they're not going to have this in time, so they need to be careful. The medic's in the wrong place, but they do have a pyro, but the pyro goes down. The medic's on 96. Seven, eight, nine, and he ubers in time. Oh, oh. that was perfect. Oh, no, he's in the scout on the point, but he does get managed to uh, be killed behind. right there. Demo behind, Last the second. Spot. Oh, the demo. He goes down. Oh. Soldier water <laughs> oh, as well. Oh, we see the soldier bombing in, trying to do a bit of damage, just throwing corpses on this point. He does get taken out. We see a scout on the point, but just there's another just to see this go. Uh, yeah, that's why that's uh, the entirety of Central down, so Vinland should be really pushing out to second right now. Yeah, and they're, they're not even going to try and contest second here. Greg knows it, and I don't think they can even contest middle. They get nice spawn. Are they going to get nice spawn? No, they didn't even get nice spawn. They've got to go out to middle, and they are. This is yeah. very well played by Vinland. It just seemed like Central are going to be falling back to uh, their second actually now, just because Vinland just they had they kept their players alive, and uh, Central just wasn't feeling confident on contesting that. Stickies on health pack, I don't know if you've seen them, but there's a sticky on health pack, two stickies on health pack, that will kill the medic. Needs to be careful. Oh, one sticky's gone, two stickies gone. Okay, so we can't now. Watching that carefully. Um, but yeah, no. Um, if they're just it pushing slowly... Like push. Yeah, no, they should do, but slowly. Passive, passive aggressive push here. Um, oh, and instead they jump in, excellent. So now the soldier jumps in onto the medic. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> Oh, Very nice play by Flisco, and that is going to be the uber advantage for Central. Going to be using that uber to push it in to mid right now. Uh, just the, uh, it was just the medic and the demo going down though, but it Ooh. does mean that Vinland don't want to be able to be trying to contest this. We do see two scouts at choke though. That are gonna try to put up a bit of a fight, but it just isn't gonna be enough. Delzik and Dan very weak right now. Seven health. Delzik just trying to peak. Uh, just a bit of damage, but it just isn't enough. And uh, uh, I mean, they really did a good job of delaying them. I mean, Vinland should really be able to get to this midpoint pretty quickly, actually. But it's just the medic and the demo alive, and that is gonna be the entirety of Central pushing onto mid. Yeah, a mistake there, unfortunately, by Jose. He didn't lose any meta Ubers on um, on Badlands, but unfortunately, he dropped one here. Um, so uh, they're gonna have to regroup here. Are they? They need to be careful because they do have an Uber charge advantage here. The medic needs to go up top here, and so does the Delman. This looks like that's what they're gonna do. Yep, they do. And uh, they oh, demo might get dropped here. He is weak. Ah, uh, the soldier jumps in, and they actually force the Uber, but they're in trouble. They need to get out. That soldier's not gonna go down. Oh, he does. Yep, they're three down here. <laughs> they need to be careful here, and they do have Uber, but they are outnumbered here by quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, Vinland, they should possibly be able to defend this last point. It does seem like Central are going to be trying to push onto it. We do see the Uber already on last point. I don't even know where that is right now. Uh, but there we go. It's just going to be trying to defend this point. But that does mean that uh, Central are going to have that bit of an advantage. So if nothing goes wrong for Central, it should be that uh, building that Uber and pushing onto last is going to be the most beneficial. We do see a heavy being run by Vinland as well, though. Because uh, Gully Wash is one of the few maps that he just kind of works on. Yeah, no, very difficult, especially with the Pyro against you. Maybe if they had an SG as well, there you go, there's the Pyro coming out as well. So a Heavy and a Pyro, it's going to be very, very difficult. If they build, they have actually lost 5%, so they're now 40% in a disadvantage, although they are building it a little bit now. It's still 35 now. Uh, they're not going to have it in time, that's for sure. It's just it's all it's all about the Pyro and where they push from here. And let's just take a look where Skeej is at the moment. Looks like they're going to push lower, and looks like they have already. And what is that heavy going to do? He's just going to get meat shot to death. Rick goes down. Nothing else he can do. He was the meat shield there. And Jose goes down as well, along with Darn. Um, and the pyro not being very effective at all because the comms weren't there for Vinland. They are going to go down here and it's going to be one all. Oh, Kedis with those stickies right there. Finishing off Salmon and Delzik. That's one all uh, with a nice little wipe for Vinland right at that last second there. Yeah, no, that was uh, very well played. Um, on on the balance of play, I would say that it's still tipped in favour of Vinland, but a uh, deserved round by Skidmark Central. So let's see if they can actually win middle. They haven't won a single middle properly, should I say. They won it on the last one, but it was after like two goes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Yo, we do see Kedis just using those stickies, trying to deliver them a bit, but Kedis is taking a lot of damage and is going to have to fall back. Uh, with just uh, getting those heals from his medic though. He gets spammed out just 10 health. He's been focused by the scout, but he does manage to get out of that somehow alive. But we did see the demo for Vinland go down and Salmon right there. Somehow Vinland are going to be able to contest this still, uh, but a lot of the key players for Vinland are down.
Yeah, no, Rake and Delta are just absolutely beasting at the moment. Oh, oh okay, this is stickies. Needs to be careful, okay, this. Needs to be careful. Sorry, Don. Needs to be careful, Don. Oh, he's gonna take down Gators! No, he doesn't. <laughs> Incredible plays like that. Uh, we do see about equal Ubers right now, so I mean, uh, pushing into second isn't barely an option for Vinland actually because they do have some of their players down there scouting their soldier scout just respawning. Uh, so I guess they're just going to be waiting for all of their oh, players to be able to make he a push. He dropped his demo. He dropped his demo. Skeet just dropped his demo. Oh, oh Skeet with oh. a mistake. Schoolboy error there, Skeet. And they lose Dalith and Cadus. That's yeah, bad. that's going to be Vinland pushing in, undoubtedly. Yeah, no, the second's not even a question. Second's not even a question. That was a mistake by by Skeet, should I say? Maybe Cadus was thinking other things. And the a soldier up top, Visco versus Dalman, who gets the health back. He's about to go down, surely? Oh, he gets away with it. But Fisco's very weak as well, 12 and 13 HP, respectively. Yeah, <laughs> they actually Uber straight away, because they actually Uber straight away, so they just need to go for picks here. They don't actually go for picks, they take down Daleth only, they need to take down someone else. Okay. Otherwise, Cadus is going to kill, yep, Cadus has killed Suck by the Delman, they're in trouble here, and Bat Rake comes out with some meat shots, but he gets taken down by Kyla at 4 versus 4, 3 versus 3 at the moment, sorry, and it's all up to the scout, what can he do? Oh, you see Killer Kadis just trying to sell that point, trying to do as much damage as he can, stopping that last scout. Nice pipes right there. We see the medic trying to go for the medic cap, but he, just, he, he has to go down. There's no way that he could survive that. Vinland holding that onto that Uber uh, after Kadis, or uh, I think it was Skeej or Kadis, just making a bit of a rocky mistake right there, uh, trying to push into mid. So that did give uh, Vinland a massive advantage there, but it just kind of didn't work out in their favour. And it does seem like Vinland are going to have to fall back to mid, and uh, it may even be difficult for them to contest mid. They do have their medic and their demo down, the medic just respawning, uh, and uh, it could be kind of easy for Central to push this. Yeah, no, uh, Don and Delzik, it's up to them really to do something. I don't think they can do anything though. Yeah, we'll see a scout on mid. Ah, oh, there's a back cap. It's buying some time. The back cap buying some time once again. That scout is going to go down here. Delzik being a very smart scout here. He goes down, but they will get nice spawn here. So now they should be able to hold choke with the spam and now Kalis is trying to push in and now he's maybe saying nah let's not push anymore lads they've got nice spawn and that, that back cap by Delzik Hayden is what's just kept them on middle. Yeah, I mean, without that, like, like, just the entire team having to go deal with that. We saw on bad lines the back cap onto mid. Uh, there was just a bit too much for uh, Central to be able to handle, but it does seem like the Uber is about ready for Central with just about 10% advantage, so not really something worth uh, really trying to go all out on, but it does seem like they are going to be starting and initiating this push. There's a few stickies coming over from uh, Kadis, but he did get spammed out of choke very quickly right there. Yeah, no, we're uh, completely denied there, so there's pretty much a stalemate situation. One all with uh, 13 minutes gone, 17 min uh, minutes remaining on the clock. Whoever gets the first pick, and it looks like it's a pick a piece, so yeah, no real one scout for a soldier, maybe. That soldier's in no man's land, needs to be careful against a demo and a scout. It looks like they're dropping out here. Kader's trying to hold choke. The soldier's in at choke. It's kind of weak, so yeah, no, the, um, pretty much stalemate situation still. Yeah, we're just going to kind of wait for something to go down and something to be worth pushing on. We do see a bit of spam from Kedis just trying to go through around that chuck, but it just isn't enough. We do see Vinland pretty much ready to push. We do see the Uber coming in from Vinland, actually, and we are going to see the Uber force out of uh, Central as well. That is going to be both teams just kind of stood around in the choke area, not really knowing what to do. Nothing really does come out of that. We do see some nice pipes going off from uh, Kedis, though, and uh, that is Skeej staying alive. Uh, actually, I thought he did go down, but that is Kedis going down as well as Dalith, and a lot of Vinland down just Darn alive, that is going to be the mid fight to uh, Central right there. He takes down Skeech though, he takes down Skeech. Oh, that is definitely going to put um, Central basically, uh, not really feeling so confident of pushing this point, but they are going to be hold, uh, holding uh, hopefully mid a little bit longer and being able to, you know, just trying to kind of hold this, but it does seem like both scouts, you know, they're, they're not yeah. even going to wait. You they know, let's just cap this point. They should be able to recap this. Yeah, the, um, that was just, uh, it, it was kind of a soft flush in trying to do something, but it just wasn't enough. That is going to be Vinland being able to capture second, and uh, with about a 50% advantage-ish, Ski just isn't healing anybody right now, he is just crits. about healing people. He's gone crits. Oh, <laughs> so, some nice crits action. This is always the best kind of action that you really want. We do see Vinland actually pushing on to mid as well pretty quickly right now, um, uh, so I mean Central are going to be pushed out of choke pretty quickly. They need to be careful here because they're not actually building and the crits is going to be made up in time here. They are 10% shy, they need to have this. 
They need to be very, very careful. Ski just catching up with his crits. They have it in time. They managed to just push straight away here with two scouts. It looks like they are going to push with two scouts. And the crits quick is going to be useless unless they are. They're not even close, actually. So the crits may still have an advantage. Uh, Ski just up top. Kalis comes up with the crit stickies. Here it comes in. Oh, he's missed. He's missed his sticky. <laughs> he's missed his sticky. And Fisker goes down. And the crits is now relevant. And Greg goes down as well. And Kadis is about to go down as well. He's so, so weak, is he? Kadis somehow being saved right there. I don't even know how that happened, but we see Kadis. She's trying to get a bit of spam, trying to deal a bit of damage. He's in Just trouble. Just Kadis and Skeej. Oh, oh, Skeej going in for that surf, but he does get shot down by Dan right there. That's going to be Just Finland winning this. Yeah, Kadis is dead, surely. Oh, yeah. he takes down, he takes down Delzik. <laughs> what's oh, he He's still alive. Oh, that's Watch that. for the soldier bomb. Watch for the soldier bomb now. Surely there's going to be a soldier bomb here or a pick. No, Anything? no soldier no. bomb. No, nothing. Okay. No. Oh, hold so on, we do last. see uh, the second point going to Vinland, and uh, that is actually going to be 100% uh, Uber for Vinland as well. So, I mean, if they don't push this, it is a bit so They know they have the advantage, and they know that they could probably push this pretty easily. Yeah, they do. They just need to focus targets here. They have a pyro. They kill the pyro first, then the heavy, and it's all easy mode. And Greg is... Oh, wow. They've just lost off Spray and Salmon. Oh, they, they need to get no. out. Pick goes down. They need to get out. They yeah, they, they are just trying to trying to do a bit of damage. We do see the uh, soldier Dalith right there getting some nice plays uh, onto the red demo man, and that is going to be Vinland extremely hurt. Uh, they just need to get out of this, but we do see Kadis trying to go for the soldier. Soldier oh. goes down. Kadis just on 20 health. Skeet very, very weak. weak. Yeah. Uh, but that does mean that Central will be able to push back out onto the second point. Uh, hopefully, we do see a scout and a medic trying to contest it though. Oh, Skeet is close to having it. He's on 99! Someone's left Skeet! Oh, oh. <laughs> Skeet loses it! Oh, Skeet must be pissed. Oh, I'm gonna oh. say that. That is just too close of an Uber to lose and that. Uh, that does mean Central really won't really be able to push out on this. It did seem like they were pretty confident, but it just wasn't enough. <laughs> now they've got a full Uber shot advantage. It wasn't a drop, ladies and gentlemen. He didn't have it. He was on 99%. So it definitely wasn't <laughs> a drop. But uh, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure he must be mad with his team. Uh, but anyway, moving swiftly on, they should need to just focus targets here uh, Vinland, and take this round. And there is a Pyro, they know there's going to be a Pyro here, so Pyro is going to be first here shortly. Pyro is being blocked, he's blocking, and that Delzik needs to be careful. But the Pyro goes down, it's all up to Dalman, what can the Dalman do? He does so much damage, and Kadis is on the point, Daylith goes down. They just need to focus Ray targets. doing a lot of work, just trying to pick up as much damage as he can. The, uh, the point is really weak. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Kadis yeah. goes down, it's over. Um, <laughs> so that is two to one on Gully Wash for Vinland. Yeah, normally he puts stickers on the point and he holds that point, but as soon as he goes down, it's like open waters and yeah, it's all over. So it's two one, like you said, in favour of uh, Vinland. Um, so I mean, I don't know. I, I want to take a look at the scouts here at the moment. No, I mean both scouts really getting to mid. Keeler for fun, just trying to chip off a bit of damage as per usual. We do see uh, just kind of waiting for Vinland. I don't really know what Vinland are. There isn't really much battling going on at this mid uh, right now. So, I mean, it does seem like Central are going to be able to get a lot of time on this point. We do see the medic and the demo underneath as well, just trying to spam off that soldier. But, uh, <laughs> oh, Flisco taking down the demo man, and that is going to be the med down for Vinland. And uh, they're very weak. Yeah, no, it actually started out very well for Vinland. And Dan up against. Nice, Dan. Oh, well played. That was, yeah, that was very well played by him there. So now they should be able to actually hold second. Uh, for sure, because they lost five players there. Good Mark Central. And uh, so did Vinland, including the Medic piece. So it's going to be interesting to see if anyone's running crits. Uh, Skeet is running Uber and. Um, yeah, two Ubers. Two Ubers. So they they are minus a player here, and they should be able to hold second. But they do have a slight disadvantage in terms of the Uber, and they're actually still pushing here. This is very. Oh, wow. The aggression coming in. <laughs> well, they need to get one more pick here or they're in trouble. That scout uh, he takes down Dalman and they're in trouble, yeah. yeah uh, Inland just can't do anything about this. We do see a nice play by Keeler for fun onto Delzik right there. And uh, that is going to be the second point for uh, Central. And it does seem likely that Vinland won't be able to hold this. Just three of their players up. They are just about getting the respawns though as well. And with about 100% Uber, it does seem like Central are going to be wanting to push right now. We see the Uber coming in on the scout and the demo man. Nice air sticky under the scout right there. Trying to sticky out that point as well. Just getting a scout on there. Uh, we do see the heavy on there as well, but the heavy goes down. And we see a demo man trying to defend it, but uh, I mean, this has to be over, right? Flisco hey. trying to do a bit of damage. Yeah, no, it's over. 
Demo goes down and it's 2 all. That's a great reply by Skidmark Central. 2 all at the moment. It looks like they're getting frustrated and that pure aggression and frustration coming through all the way there. And uh, a great reply there with 10 minutes remaining on the clock here. It's uh, getting it to be a very tense finale uh, on, um, on CP Gully Wash here. Yeah, we did see Badlands a very close game as well, but I mean, this is just a bit too close. We do see both scouts getting to point, as well as the Demon just trying to do a bit of damage. We see the Soldier bombing in straight into Choke, doing a lot of damage. That is Dan, and Dells it down right through that Choke point, uh, right at the start right there. And we do see a bit of damage going on over to some of the Vinland players. And more of Rick, Sam, and it's just the Demon Man and the Medic alive for Vinland, and uh, they're not really wanting to contest this mid-fight. And Kyla's already going towards last. So he was very keen, he's very obviously uh, straight and not wanting to lose this map because they already lost the first map, 3-2. So uh, yep, yeah, they'll be content with just leaving this point here, Vinland, and they're giving it away. Um, uh, Delzik is running Sniper. My eye there for you there. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, and we do see uh, both Ubers at 100%, so we're just kind of waiting for a pick and then a push. So we're just going to be watching these medics, seeing what they do with it. It doesn't seem like Vinland want to be pushing out into this. We do see a lot of uh, Central actually going up through Riverside, so it does seem look like they are going to be wanting to start a push. Break's going down here for sure, that's a pick there. Yeah, he goes down as well, forcing it maybe, one would say. And Delzik needs to switch. Yeah, it's a force for Vinland as well, and I mean, uh, Central just trying to do a bit of damage, trying to scare them away, but I don't think it is really enough. Uh, Kadis and the Medic and everybody just kind of sat in Riverside. Nice plays by Vinland, though. Oh, Kadis takes down Darn. He knew he was going to jump there from Riverside, and now, because of that pick, they aren't going to be able to push out here. I'm surprised they haven't actually pushed out and flanked them, but... Um... Yeah, yeah I mean, the uh, central are pretty open right now, uh, but uh, I mean, they're getting their response in and hopefully they'll be able to push this. I mean, this is a very clutch game with just about eight minutes left on the clock. It could be uh, pretty difficult just to kind of see uh, what Finland do. I mean, they do want to push out and they don't want to be pressured onto their last point, but it does seem very unlikely. I mean, uh, even though they do have about a 20% advantage, it just isn't going to be Sniper enough. main, sniper main, gets the body shot on the medic, gets the, one of the faintest body shots on the medic ever. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that has to be a reason for uh, Central to push now. And looks like Greg is going to win this round for his team there. Um, three players down here and they're in trouble. There's nothing they can do against an Uber. Yeah, we do or see the Uber there? coming in. <laughs> we do see the Uber coming in. Uh, just a lot of time on point. We see the Soldier on point. Uh, that has to be another round for Central. Yeah, no, it is 3-2. And I uh, can't believe that sniper pick by Greg. Um, doesn't make a difference whether you hit the head or not. He's still got the body shot and it won in the round. So uh, well played to uh, Greg there and Skidmark Central uh, making it 3-2 in favour of the uh, centralised uh, team there. So um, let's take a look if see if Vinland can actually reply. Yeah, again we do see uh, Vinland getting to point pretty quickly. Just a bit quicker we do see a lot of Central actually going through Big Door. Uh, as, they, as they have been for the entirety of these rounds. Uh, we do see Delzig taking a lot of damage, both scouts just pressuring him very quickly, and that is a lot of Vinland actually down, the Medic, the Scout, and the Demoman, so I mean, uh, oh, actually Central are actually very weak as well, just Skeej and Kadis alive. We pressured through the Chug, that Skeej down, Kadis oh, going down, oh, oh, oh. that is a wipe on the, the mid break. fight. Rake going huge! <laughs> that is going to be Vinland uh, grabbing that midpoint at uh, the start of the round. Yeah, no, and uh, I don't think they'll get second, so they're going to go for flanks here. here. You can see Salmon up top. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if uh, Salmon can do any damage. It doesn't seem like they do want to push uh, second too quickly, though, uh, since they were he's actually waiting for a few respawns. He's still up top. He's still up top. No yeah. one's seen him. Look Where's he this. going? He's coming behind. <laughs> Watch Salmon, guys. Oh, they've just lost two players. Needs to make something happen now. Oh, he gets behind the medic! Oh. Yeah, he gets the medic. Oh, that Vinland, just the medic alive, and... Look how weak they are! Look at how weak <laughs> yeah. they are! They're all really, really weak. Just that the skis went down, that was some... Ah, oh, I'm probably getting a bit over-excited there, but that, that... That... The flying... Just nobody saw something. He just kind of sat there for a little bit and was like, Oh, I'm gonna kill the medic now, I have nothing better to do. You do see skis respawning right now. Uh, so about 70... 80... Yeah, about 75% advantage uh, for Vinland. So, uh, I mean, you know, they should really be able to hold this point a lot longer than maybe Central want them to. Yeah, no, if I, if I was them, I would just man up here and make sure I know where the combo is. Cadis is under fire. Cadis is going to go down. Cadis goes down here. They actually do Uber, so they're in trouble. That scout should go down as well. Scout is dropped down. There's no way he can get out there. Yeah, he's going down. Greg gets destroyed, but it's four versus four. Remember, they use an Uber here. That's the difference. So they need to be careful. That soldier takes a pipe. He is being focused by Don. He's going to get taken down. Surely, Don. 
That is yours. He does actually take him down, and there's a scout on, and Delzik helps. There is a backup on, but it won't be enough. I don't think it will be enough. I could be wrong. No, we do see the scout a, needs a to bit stay. The scout Finland. needs to stay. The scout needs to stay. <laughs> My scout just sat on top of that point and a, a lot of Vinland actually had to go ahead and chase him down. But we do see about a 30% advantage as well for Central. Not really something they can really act upon too much yet. Kid is going down by some nice plays from down right there. And still midpoint hasn't been capped from Vinland. They just need to. They just fell off the point. Stand on the point. That's going to be the midpoint to uh, Vinland. Yeah, I'm not sure that play by Kedis was smart. Because I don't think they will get it, but now they have the uber advantage. This uh, actually no, they don't have the uber advantage. Sorry, my apologies. They have a player disadvantage, so they need to drop out here. So they've actually forced it early, so that when Kader spawns, they will be able to hold last. And there's a scout on last. Kind of does a lot of damage though, and that soldier is very, very weak. He gets away with it, and that scout. Wow, but Josie actually does go down to Flisco. Yeah, we do lower, see lower, lower, uh, Flisco uh, just trying to do something, but it just wasn't enough. And we do see uh, Josie actually going down as well. So that does mean that Central should really be able to hold this a bit longer than Vinland want them to. I mean, Vinland, without that medic, they don't have that power and they don't have the heals to be able to push this. So, I mean, they probably will be waiting around. And whilst that's actually occurring, we do see the uber advantage from Skeej as well. They are going to be pushing into Lobby right now, just trying to uh, wipe out anybody that is trying to hang around. You know, we don't want another Salmon incident. Uh, so we are just going to kind of see... Central trying to push onto the second point, trying to deal a bit of damage. We do see the Uber coming in as well. The soldier just kind of jumping over the medic, and <laughs> walking away like nothing happened. And uh, it does seem like Central will be able to grab this point. I don't know. I reckon they might come back in. Am I wrong? Are they? Uh, no, no. They're just no, kind of thought... waiting by choke right now. Okay, maybe they thought they had more time. Uh, I'm surprised because now Salmon and Rick go down for that, and now they can't even hold middle. Yeah, that's, it does that's seem. The thing. Yeah, it does seem like Central are going to be able to push back onto this pretty quickly. I mean, uh, you know, as soon as Central get their momentum, they get their freaking momentum. And they do uh, putting a lot of work to get through all of these points very quickly. So they did manage to grab mid right there. But uh, Vinland do have about the 30, no, 40% advantage, sorry. Uh, so, I mean, it does seem likely that Vinland will be able to do something with it. They do pop the Uber onto the scout, just trying to rush in here. Kade has been pressured on very quickly. Uh, but Kade has 21 health, nice pipes onto Delzik right there. And, uh, oh, even, he's still behind. Uh, oh, he's down. <laughs> uh, um, we do see Central actually pushing onto second as well, which is one scout sat on it. We do see the demo having to leave mid. You know, they wanted to try and contest mid and try and get mid, but it just wasn't enough. We do see 100% Uber by Skeej as well. So as soon as they get the response, they will probably be able to push. They need to force this Uber though. They need to force it nice and early before they other spawn. Here we go. They've actually forced it. Yeah, we do see the Uber okay, soldier trying to jump through, trying to focus the medic. The medic did go down actually, Josie or Jose or Jose, I don't know. But he is down along with Salmon actually. And we do see the Cadus jumping around, just trying to do a bit of damage, but the two scouts just are too strong for him. We do see a lot of Vinland very hurt. Well, the two players, the two scouts that are alive, very hurt. We do see those go down, and we do see just Jose alive, the medic for Vinland. And uh, they are looking pretty strong and confident uh, for grabbing this second and holding this area. But Skeej is down. Needs to be careful here, Salmon, because he's got so many on last. But he takes down two players. There was a scout on last as well. They are going to get a nice spawn here. That soldier's going to go down as well, surely. He's not actually been taken down, but he is going to get focused here. And there's got three down here. And yeah, that push just really wasn't a good idea. They didn't really have any heals, and uh, just it was just a lot of corpses thrown onto that point. Uh, they did get some nice time in it, but it just wasn't enough. We do see some players trying to get onto second right now, uh, and Central having to fall through big door. Yeah, they're not rushing it here, uh, Central. They're thinking, yeah, there's only a minute 40 left, guys. Take it easy. We're winning 3 2. The scout gets away with murder, who's really, really weak somehow. Gone through elbow, it's quite obvious. Greg getting away with murder there, and they don't actually have Uber, and Greg gets taken down anyway. Oh, the med drop! The med Kid drop. is dropping Jose. <laughs> and that is going to put Central a massive advantage, even though they don't really want to contest this too much. They will easily be able to recap this, and as I say that, a lot of players for Central actually do go down, but we do see the Uber coming in. Just on the scout, though, taking out Supker. We do see the back cover as well from another scout, but they can't do anything about it. They don't have the classes. We do see a scout trying to do something, but it, I don't think it's really going to be enough. I mean, we do see the soldier actually bobbing in to finish off Flisco, uh, managing to do some nice work. Uh, but that doesn't mean Vinland are actually going to be holding this midpoint a little longer.
Yeah, no, uh, 40 seconds is still possible, but they'll be holding second here. They'll be holding second for sure. Unless they get the kills here, they'll be holding second. They've got no time. 30 seconds remaining on the clock here. Jose's very weak. That's Kyla, that's Kyla down as well. There is enough time. There is enough time, but they need to focus fire here correctly. They haven't got enough time. If they don't cap this, they need to scout on the point. He's going to get destroyed. <laughs> ah, no, it's, like it's going to be a good game. And, uh, yeah, the 15 seconds, no way, because Kalis is still alive on last. And it's, yep, it's going to end 3-2 in favour of... Um, it's good mark central. Uh, gotta say that at least they pulled their weight there on this map and pulled it together. Maybe Kadis actually carrying quite a bit on this. He had four dominations at one stage there, Hayden. So um, yeah, Kadis definitely was uh, uh, helping his team to say the least. Indeed. Uh, let me just uh, end this off here. So you've been watching Vinyl TV here for the ETF World Season 15 Week One Premiership game between Skid Mark Central and uh, Vinland, in which uh, the second map, CP Gotta Watch, has ended. We two. In favour of Skidmark Central, your casters for this evening have been uh, Hayden and Bite, along with your cameraman, Mr. Ari, and other than Mr. Ari. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, the uh, first map going to uh, Vinland, 3 2, and the uh, second map, who I thought would be, which I thought would be better for Vinland, uh, went to uh, Skidmark <laughs> Central. So, as I said, no educated guess, <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so your thoughts? Uh, on the on the game overall, Mr. Hayden. <laughs> Just Vinland, especially on Badlands. I I know that Central did win a gully wash, but I mean Vinland on Badlands. Nobody expected them to be able to do that. Uh, I I know. I said that earlier on. I, I know that I, I've probably said that a bit too much, but I mean, Vinland, just the way that nobody expected that. Like, you you even said, your predictions were that uh, Vinland are going to have a bit of a hard time, but I mean, Vinland just doing some incredible work that nobody expected. Uh, very definitely a good game, and I, I, I was happy to watch it and be a part of it. Yeah, no, definitely. It was a pleasure having you here, Hayden. Uh, obviously, um, Vinland coming out with uh, three points is a good result in my books. Maybe they should have felt they got all six, but... Uh... Nonetheless, well played to both teams. Um, please follow us on our Steam group. It's uh, Vanilla TV, and also on Twitter. It's also Vanilla TV, so twitter.com forward slash Vanilla TV, and our YouTube channel where we have all our latest VODs um, and previous VODs and previous LAN VODs and stuff like that. Uh, Vanilla TV org, and our Facebook is also Vanilla TV org. And obviously, don't forget our motherhood site, Vanilla TF2 org. And um, be sure to tune in on Thursday, maybe a cast tomorrow as well, but uh, I know for myself that there will be a cast hopefully on Thursday with um, Maya, uh, the uh, other caster that was casting on Sasso with Hayden um, and for that Russian land. And uh, we're not sure what teams it will be, but uh, we will look forward to seeing you then. Have yourselves a very good night and thank you for joining us. Goodbye.